Hi guys, I have been tagged to do the bag of the month and what's in my bag tag by Kevin Estelle. Thank you so much, Kevin. That was very sweet of you to tag me. And I have chosen for my bag of the month, which is already peeking in here. This is my Gretchen Hobo in the Coated Cotton Greta print with the DBs. And you guys, I have been loving this bag. I've been carrying it since probably when? Like last Saturday maybe? Yeah, I think Saturday. Maybe even Friday last week, Friday night. It is such a comfortable bag to carry. This nice you know thicker strap just hugs your shoulder it's lightweight because it's coated cotton and you know I'm, I tend to carry leather bags more often so this one is just such a refreshing change and you know I thought I'd give it a try I hadn't carried it much in the past because you know I just kind of reach for my cute satchels and all that stuff and my leather bags and everything so I kind of have been letting this one sit in the closet for too long and I decided to give it a shot and I am loving it. And um, as you can see, I've got this little, I want to show you the front side, this little Dooney and Burke keychain. I've got it clipped. It doesn't have one of those uh, lobster claw clasps like charms would have. So I just, you know, this is the the strap clip right here and I've just got it clipped onto there so it and it actually hangs perfectly in between these little rivets on here which is kind of cool but it never stays there when I carry it because it just it flings around and, and sometimes it ends up inside the bag right here and but you know it's okay it's all right we're not picky here so um I just need to I don't think you guys want to see any of this stuff. That's kind of boring anyway. Sorry. I know it's not authentic, but, you know, that was just kind of some boring stuff. So, um, I already took out two items that were in my bag. And that are these. There. <laughs> and that would be these two items. Come on, spit it out. What the heck? I can't even speak. That would be these two items from my friend Bunky123. Again, thank you so much for this kind gift. And um, I don't know, maybe you guys didn't see my last video, but in here I've got just, you know, a lip liner, a lip gloss, and a pen. And I don't know, this, I really like this color. This is the um, Dial 10 nudes that are on QVC. I don't know if they're sold other places, but it comes in a two pack set and I wish I had a light so that I can see this. This is more of a nude, kind of a nude taupey color and it's got a lipstick on one end and a lip gloss on the other end. And I'm more of a lipstick person because lip gloss tends to just get goopy on my lips. So um, I really just and this is a very, mm, might as well put it on. I don't have anything on my lips. It's just kind of a really creamy formula. So it's not long lasting, but it's got a nice sheen to it. And it's got a nice scent and it's just comfortable to wear. I don't think I noticed much peeling with this one. And then this is a lip liner that just kind of is in a similar color. It's in, uh, gosh. You know what, guys? I'm going to need to put my glasses on. What am I doing? I cannot read. Now they're dirty. And plus it's dark in here and I cannot. It's L'Oreal Color Riche Lip Liner. Now I'm putting this in my glasses case. All right, so the next thing in my bag are my specs. And these are my progressives. So I don't wear them that, I'm putting it in there again. I don't wear them that often because I'm not used to them. And half the time I look through them, I'm looking through something blurry and I don't realize it. And I'm like straining and I'm like, why am I looking? Why is it blurry? And then I shift my face a little bit and all of a sudden it clears up and I go, oh, 
I was just looking blurry. So what's the point of wearing them if you're not going to see, you know, well through them? So anyway, this goes back in here. And then, so lip gloss, lipstick combo, lip liner, and just a pen. And it fits perfectly in this little case with a little mirror. So I've got that. Okay, there's my glasses case. Yeah, it's an Izod case because it's from an old pair of glasses, but it's one of my less bulkier ones, and I don't want to be taking up too much space in my bag. These are Banana Republic, and they're my new glasses. So that's that. And inside this was my Burt's Bees number 510 lipstick it's like the barbie pink color which i love it's really cute it's really cute with a nice tan my my self tan that i've been doing lately and in here in the sephora perfume little portable refillable atomizer thing is my 613 eau de toilette or eau de parfum i don't know which one it is from chas dean on qvc and I've been really liking that scent. It's really soft for spring and stuff like that. So that's what I filled this one with. And then I've got my Touchable Taupe Maybelline number 940, which is very similar to this color that I'm wearing, but it's a little bit deeper and darker, a little bit more of a brownish tone. And then I've got my, well, my mother's keys and my little... Uh, emergency aspirin keychain thing in case I feel a little heart attack coming on. Hopefully I won't ever. Um, on a Dooney and per Burke keychain that, you know, comes from QVC and in the TSVs and some loyalty cards, which I don't really use anymore. I mean, I barely even shop in the stores anymore. It's pretty much all online. So that is that so far. I've got a checkbook because I need to record everything that I buy so that I know what's in my account at any given time. This is kind of a weird thing, but these were sitting in my car for the longest time. So um, yesterday I said, I have to bring these in the house. So I threw them in my purse and then like true fashion for me, I forget to take them out of my bag and today I carried them to work with me again. So these I need to take out of here. Um, wallet. This is the Dooney and Burke card coin case in the T. Morrow Biscuit, Shiny It, 1975. I can go on and on with this one. Um, keep my cash in there. And yes, everything's on a small scale. I like that. This is my favorite. I love little wallets because they can easily transition from bigger bags to little bags and you're not taking up a lot of space. And easily all my cards fit in here. Cards, insurance cards, uh driver's license, you know, anything that I need to fit in there. It's pretty, I mean, these things can really hold a lot in there. Oh, and then there's even a little pocket on the back, which I never use because I forget it's there. Then I've got my EOS in the color Vanilla Mint. I think this is Vanilla Mint. No, this is the, this might be the Vanilla Mint, but it's the creamier texture one. It's not the one in just the plain green one that's kind of not as creamy feeling and it's this doesn't taste as minty to me as that one does let's that's what I'm trying to get to I'm you know having a hard time talking so then in one of the pockets I just have another extra lip gloss because I couldn't squeeze this into any other of the cases that I have and this is what I've been wearing the last day or two and it's a buxom it's not the plumping buxom it's the regular buxom in the color I think it's Dolly, and it's just like a maybe a, a plummy kind of a nude. It's more of a purplish, but it's still kind of a nude color. It's very similar to the color of my lips, so you can't really see it. Pretty much, it adds a little tiny bit of a purplish tint, and very tiny, and gives them shine. And again. Glosses tend to get goopy. I just don't have the patience for them because then I'm always worrying about is it gooping up on my lips and is somebody looking at that and is it gross? You know. Then this lotion, I've been really loving this lotion. Um, it's the Yes to Coconut. Yes to Coconut. I was going to say Yes to Carrots, but that's the orange one. 
So this is Yes to Coconut Hydrate and Restore Protecting Hand and Cuticle Cream. Um, yes to Coconut Oil and Shea Butter to help soften your hands for more hand holding. How cute is that? It's paraben free, natural product, 97% natural. So this has a really nice, mm, it's got a really nice, more natural coconut scent. You know, sometimes when you get coconut products and they, they taste, well, I hope I'm not eating this. They, they smell kind of, um, plasticky or vanilla-y, like fake vanilla. You know, do you know what I mean? This one smells more natural coconut. Like I can, if I cut open a coconut, I would be smelling this, you know, more. I mean, I do smell a little bit, tiny bit of that plasticky vanilla scent, but it's it's pretty good actually. It's one of my favorite um, coconut products. And last but not least, my, I love this stuff, my Dr. Wilson's Original Formula, Formulations, Herbal Adrenal Support Extract, Herbs for Stress Resilience, and there you go. I take 10 drops of this on my tongue every day, or you can mix it with water, but you know what, I, my stomach is pretty iron clad, so I can handle this. It tastes a little bit like asparagus. It's got a little bit of an alcohol taste to it. It's strong, but drop it on my tongue, swallow it, I'm good to go. Uh, and I can take it anywhere. Like today I took it home, driving home in the car. I just said, oh, I didn't take it today. So I just whipped it out and I dropped it on my tongue. So that's it. And then other than that, I always keep my paperwork for the bag my registration card and receipts and tags or whatever came with the bag in the zipper pocket in my dooney and I put in a little Ziploc bag so it keeps everything together and um, doesn't, if I wanted to use that pocket for something else, it wouldn't get mixed up with that stuff. So there you go guys, empty and very, very light. I can't believe that I let this bag sit for so long and I didn't use it because I am loving it. Yeah, so that, I guess, is it. My bag of the month, Dooney and Burke, Gretchen Hobo, in the Greta print, brown Timoral color, uh, coated cotton, feet on the bottom, all the standard pockets on the inside that Dooney has, and the, the slip pocket does not have the snap. And you know what? This bag is not available anymore. It was kind of almost like a limited edition at the outlets. It is an outlet bag. It was made, I believe it was made for the outlets. And I thought someone said initially that, and it might have been Lori, because Lori 49 L. Davis was the first one to get this bag, when she, I believe when she was in Vegas. And I think the essay might have told her, or maybe I heard this somewhere else, I don't know, so pardon me if this is incorrect, that they made a certain amount just to test out this style. Uh, because they did later on, or maybe simultaneously, I don't know, make bags in this same silhouette, sort of, in Safiano and in uh, pebbled, uh, embossed pebbled leather, and then a croco, a leather croco sort of embossing. Uh, and I think also a lizard embossing. And those were all outlet version bags, I, I believe, so. Um, I hope I'm not giving you any wrong information, but that is what I believe to be true. So please, in the comments below, if that is not correct. But yeah, so now I hear from people that they're looking for this bag and it's really hard to find. So um, if you guys are looking for this bag, I hope you can find it because it's a really great bag. Um, and yeah, so I guess that is all I have to share with you. Kevin, thank you so much for tagging me. I really appreciate it. And I enjoyed doing this tag, and I'm going to keep on carrying this bag. I don't have any real desire right now to move out of it. So um, thank you all so much for watching, and I want to tag everybody who would like to do this tag to do this tag. I love seeing, you know, everybody what they're... Sorry, guys. I have dry eyes, so I wink a lot. And... Uh, my husband makes fun of me. Whenever he talks to me, he'll be going like this. Because I do that, and I don't even realize I do that. So, 
how embarrassing, you know, I'm probably doing that when I talk to people at work, my boss and my coworkers and whatnot. But anyway, so back to topic. Um, I really enjoy seeing everybody's choices, what they're caring, what they're loving lately. And you know what, let's just face it, I love handbag videos and I just love to watch them all. And other videos for that matter. So um, anybody who would like to do this tag, please do so. I would love to watch. And thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a great rest of the week. Bye guys.